Conventional wisdom says that progressive churches are losing members and closing their doors, and that most young adults aren't interested in doing church. But don't tell that to the young Christians who are discovering Urban Village in Chicago. They are part of a new movement that seeks to be bold, inclusive, and relevant. To learn more about this exciting new way to do church, let's welcome Reverend Benjamin Reynolds, and Reverend Emily McGinley, who are busy laying the foundations for an urban village church in the south side neighborhoods of Hyde Park and Woodlawn. First of all, tell us what is Urban Village? Urban Village is a church that is um, alive and well in the Chicagoland area that um, says it is bold and in, uh, inclusive and relevant, bold in the way we exercise our faith, bold claims about who we are, um, inclusive in that we uh, don't exclude anyone, anyone. We welcome all people uh, to be a part of the journey. Wherever you are on the journey, you're welcome. And inclusive, uh, relevant in that we um, believe that it's more than just worship, but it comes alive in how we serve our communities. And in a quick synopsis, what does that look like, Emily? Is it are you meeting at a meeting place? How does that take form? Urban Village Church meets in a variety of locations right now uh, in the South Loop, in Wicker Park, and in Andersonville. And um, each worshiping location is um, kind of shaped by the actual specific, the worshiping context. And so um, in the South Loop, we worship uh, at the Feinberg Theater in the Spurtis Institute. Um, in Wicker Park, we're worshiping right now um, in the basement of uh, Grace Lutheran Church, and um, in Andersonville at uh, Bethany Community Retirement Home. If I were to come to an urban village service for the first time and I came from a more evangelical background, what might I find at Urban Village that would be different? I think the most significant thing that um, someone from an evangelical background, which I actually come from, um, is that uh, the theology is intentionally very open and inclusive. Um, and it's not to say that, um, you know, not to paint evangelical churches with a broad brush, but I think um, Urban Village really, at Urban Village, we really try to be uh, very upfront and intentional that every service we, we talk about how, you know, Democrats are welcome, Republicans are welcome, gay folks are welcome, straight folks are welcome, and um, longtime Christians and folks who are walking through the door for the very first time and have no idea what to expect from church. Everyone is welcome to come to this place. What does it take to start something like Urban Village? Lots of work. <laughs> <laughs> um, it, it, you know, it involves um, being very intentional about getting out in the community and meeting new people and listening to stories. Um, trying to get to the crux of why people live in their communities, um, um, finding out, answer, trying to get answer questions or ask questions about um, where they worship, um, what kinds of things they look for in worship. So for me, it is really about building relationship with people that live in these communities and um, trying to hear uh, what 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 makes them <clears throat> happy or what makes them sad. You know what what they you know what they sense uh, in terms of needs for their children. Uh, all of that, and it just involves, you know, hearing conversation after conversation and really being willing to uh, uh, be attentive to that and diligent in doing it. Okay. Yeah, I would add that um, in addition to that, it, you know, the, the approach has to be sort of macro and micro. So on the macro level, we would um, try to be present at uh, various community gatherings, trying really just to get folks to know who who we are and what that we're coming and that, you know, this is what we're about. This is the kind of uh, worshiping community that we want to create. In addition to that, uh, we're working on trying to um, create uh, develop community events that will draw people together and um, on our own to help sort of communicate a little bit about what we're about. So one of the things that we're um, doing later on this October is an event called Laundry and Love. And basically it's, uh, you know, working, partnering with a local um, laundromat uh, to ho host an event where basically we would provide drinks and food and, you know, music and some kind of uh, opportunity for folks to engage one another while they're doing their laundry. Because as someone who lives in the neighborhood and actually goes to this particular laundromat, Kimbark Laundry, um, <laughs> it, I, uh, you know, I'm always struck by how I go in and I do my laundry and I don't talk to anyone and then I go home. Um, and, you know, you're hanging out there for at least an hour to get, you know, get everything done.
done and what a missed opportunity it is to really just connect with other folks who also have to get their laundry done. And so why not uh, create an event where folks you know, have a reason to engage one another, to get to know their neighbors, um, and get to know a little bit about what Urban Village is, is committed to, which is creating connections between folks um, who live near one another and um, care about and are invested in their neighborhood. That sounds fascinating. Some of the things that I'm hearing are things you, they don't include the language that you would expect in a mainline denomination. Um, it's urban village, it doesn't say church, and laundry and love doesn't imply Christian gospel. Could you speak to why that might be appealing to young adults or people who aren't currently in church? I think a lot of young adults and people who are currently in church are looking for something different. Um, and it, it speaks to really trying to um, understand what their needs are and so trying to make it relevant for them and trying to um, access them in a way in a language that they understand is, is probably why we do what we do and it becomes again that relationship trying to get to know them and them get to know us is, is seems to be the best approach in um, trying to get people to be a part of Urban Village. Okay. I think additionally um, church, church is a very sort of loaded term and place um, for folks for a variety of different reasons. And um, unfortunately, uh, churches have, um, for folks who don't fit within the paradigm that a particular faith community is putting forward, forth to them, um, if they don't fit, then they don't belong. Um, and that's not true, but that's, that's the truth that, is, um, that they are, uh, in, intake. And so a lot of folks, um, even one woman I was just talking with the other day shared about how she had grown up in a very, very, very um, conservative, kind of constricted um, church environment. And at a very young age was attending a revival and um, it was about 10 and had been to many revivals kind of just growing up. And, and the energy of the preacher's voice caught her because it sounded like she was being yelled at. Mm -hmm. um, and as she was hearing, listening more and more and hearing about um, how women should submit to their husbands and um, that their opinions and their being is always under the, um, the authority of um, the husband that they marry or other men in their lives. Um, she began to push back and say, well, I have worth too. And why is it that these other boys who are who are dumb, you know, she's 10, <laughs> these other dumb boys are smarter than me or that I should um, submit myself to them. And I think there, there are a good number of folks who have sort of grown up in that kind of environment who need a place where they can be um, told that they are enough, that God has created them um, fully from the very beginning. And even though there may be brokenness and there may be things that um, we've done uh, at various points in our lives that we're not proud of, um, it doesn't change the fact that God created us with enough of who we are. And um, so there's that segment. And then there's the segment of folks who may maybe never grew up in church, um, but have only seen sort of the caricatures of what church and um, church leaders are or have been, especially kind of in our political arena. Um, and, and they don't want to have anything to do with it necessarily. Um, so... There is a place for folks who, we want to create a space where folks who um, don't know how to engage uh, or d feel repelled but, but also feel drawn to engaging a relationship with God can be. Thank you, Benjamin and Emily, for being here today. I am Polly Toner for Different Drummers in the Greater Chicago Broadcast Ministries. Keep the faith. <laughs>